We already have drugs that can kill cancer cells. We already have drugs that can actually prevent diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. So if we imagine our cells, our chocolate factories, then these drugs work by actually going in and targeting these misbehaving molecules known as microRNAs. They are kind of acting in our cells like Lucy and Ethel are acting in this chocolate factory. A normal microRNA in a healthy cell is a regulatory molecule. It's supposed to actually go in and just take out only the bad genes, eating maybe one or two bad chocolates a day. But in our disease cells, our um, Lucy and ethyl microRNAs are eating all of the chocolates. None of the genes are coming down the cellular assembly line to be useful to our bodies. We know that we can use these therapeutics to stop these misbehaving uh, genes, these misbehaving molecules. So here's my question to you. Why did my grandmother die with Parkinson's and no cure? Why are millions of people being diagnosed with cancer every year and they go to their doctor and they can't get access to this drug? This drug is not available. The gap is actually in the delivery. If you were to put this drug right now inside of an IV bag, it would be washed through the patient's system in under five minutes, totally useless in treating the disease. And so my hypothesis and where my research comes in is that if we can take some sort of a teeny tiny particle, a nano-sized particle, package these therapeutics in such a way that they can actually be transported only to the disease cell, maybe we can actually increase the effectiveness of this drug. So I am, in effect, a nano taxi cab designer. And when I think about what I want to make my taxi cab out of, I want it to be non-toxic. And I want it to actually go away from your body when its job is done. That's why I've chosen to make my nanoparticles out of a material known as porous silicon. They're too small to see with our eyes. And so in fact, I had to use an electron microscope here at Vanderbilt to take an image of the particle you can see there. And just like any other taxi cab designer, my job's not done just selecting the material. I need to figure out how am I going to load the passengers into it and how am I going to keep these passengers from falling out of the taxi on the way to their destination? So I've spent a great deal of time actually engineering the loading conditions for this drug, in addition to a surface coating that will allow me to navigate through the body, avoid the healthy tissue, and target the disease cells. Again, my name is Kelsey Beavers. And why should you care about my thesis? Because I'm addressing this gap in delivery and hopefully getting these drugs to the clinic. Thank you. Thank you.